gate is an simply an electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal while producing it produces one output signal and means each and everything has to be satisfied in and gate all the inputs has to be satisfied then only output become one whereas in or gate if any one of the input is true output become true or gate as well as and gate there minimum itself we required two inputs whereas here maximum itself only one input Welcome to one and all. Myself, Vasanta, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyashram Pre University College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. In this session, you will come to know regarding the logic gates. This is the first session of logic gates chapter. Whereas the total weightage of this chapter is in part A, one question they will ask, in part B, one question, as well as in part C, one question. Totally, it will be for six marks in the annual exam whereas in part a one marks in part b two marks as well as in part c three marks totally six marks you will get from this chapter it's very easiest chapter and on this chapter easily you can learn how to write the circuit diagram all those things as well as the truth table everything you will study on this chapter when you come on objectives of this chapter we can learn different types of gates like basic gates derived gates under that what are the sub gates you will get everything you will come to know on this concept as well as how to write the circuit diagram for each gates as well as you can able to write the truth table also for each basic gates as well as derived gates you can able to learn the symbols as well as truth table everything you can learn as well as one more concept is there nand to nand logic network as well as nor to nor logic network these are the major objectives you will study on this chapter when you come on topics on today's topic you will learn regarding the introduction of logic gate and gate or gate as well as not gate on this class you will learn what do you mean by basic gates what do you mean by logic gates under basic gates which are the gates you have regarding that you will come to know next under this when you come on gates gates is simply an electronic circuit it is an electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal and it produces the output signal already you come to know it is one or more input signal and it produces only one output signal where it may be one input or more than one also while producing only one output you will get here where the gate may be basic gates or derived gates any type of gates when they come on here gates is digital circuits mainly we used to call it as logic gate is an digital circuit or i can say it as electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal and it produces on output signal this mainly used in boolean algebra as well as there are two types under this the first one is basic gate when they come on types of gates one is basic gates and one more is derived gates there are two types of gates whereas gate is an simply an electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal while producing it produces one output signal when they come on types there are two types one is basic gates and one more is derived gates whereas in basic gates we have and gate or gate as well as not gate these are the gates it will come under basic gates when they come on derived gates nand gate nor gate xor gate as well as x nor gate these are the four derived gate in the exam then you would ask what do you mean by basic gates just list the types of basic gates or what do you mean by derived gates list the types of derived gate in the exam they would ask for one marks also they may go to ask what do you mean by gate or logic gate it is simply an electronic circuit it takes one or more input signal and it produces output signal when they come on basic gates and or not whereas under derived nand nor x or x nor these are the classification of gates next today first i am going to explain one by one all the basic gates that is and gate or gate not gate when they come on and gate the name itself suggesting that all the input has to be satisfied already i told you it takes one or more input signal whereas nand gate takes minimum itself two inputs minimum itself here it will take two inputs while producing one output signal we are going to get here see the symbol here consider two inputs here we have 
X and Y. Here we used to write the D shape to represent the symbol and the output is X into Y. Here the output is always true when all the inputs are true. The name itself suggesting AND gate. AND means each and everything has to be satisfied. This is the symbol to represent the AND gate. Usually for one marks they will ask write the symbol for AND gate or gate as well as NOT gate. For one marks they will ask. Whereas this is symbol to represent AND gate. Minimum it may go to get two or more input signal and only one output signal we are going to get. Here when all the inputs are one then only the output become one. If any one of the input is true or false then here we are not going to get the output is true here. When all the inputs are true then only the output become true here. When all the inputs are one or I can say it as high one or high also we can say then the output is one otherwise it becomes zero here. Here this is a symbol you come to know. If you want to write the truth table, see the truth table here, consider x and y two inputs we have, the output is x into y. Then here in first input also here it is 0, the second input is also 0, that's why the output become 0 here. When all the inputs are true, then only the output become true. If any one of the input is false, then output become false here. Whereas see the second case, here we have 0 and here we have 1. If one input is 0 here, that's why the output become 0 here. Now is it clear? If you come to the third case, 1 and 0 here we have. 1 and 0. We have 1 time 0. That's why output become here also 0 here. See the last case. In the last case, both the inputs are 1. That's why the output become 1 here. The name itself suggesting and this and this. It means that everything has to be satisfied. Both the input or if you have three inputs, then also all the inputs are true then only output become true otherwise here it is false. If you want to write the symbol for three variables on that case see consider minimum three inputs here for example I am going to take A, B and then C. Here D shape here we used to write and the output like this pattern. Then what is the output? A into B into C. Here this is a symbol to represent three variables. Okay. This is the symbol for two variables. This is the symbol for three variables and this is the truth table for two variables. In the same way, when you want to write the truth table for three variables, then how many combinations we will get? For example, 2 to the power of n number of combinations we will get usually. On this, then here if you have two variables, 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 combinations we will get. If it is three variable, 2 to the power of 3 that is totally 8 combinations we will get. While representing the truth table for three variables, here we come to know that totally eight different combinations we will get. Out of eight, four of that, first we have to write zero. Then see here, one, two, three, four time write down zero. Then next write down four time one. One, two, three, four. In the same way, write down two times zero, two time one, two times zero, two time one. Off of that. Next, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. Now is it clear? That means how many combinations we will get, how many variables we have depending upon that the different combinations here we will get. Whereas in the first case 0 into 0 into 0 we have. It means that all the inputs are 0 that's why output is also 0 here. In the second case 0 into 0 into 1, 0 we have that's why output is also 0. Whereas in the third case, 0 into 1 into 0, that's why the output once again here 0, because here 2 times 0 we have. When we come on the fourth case, here 0 into 1 into 1 we have, that's why output once again 0. In the next case, 1 into 0 into 0, the output once again 0, 1 into 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 1 into 0, 0. When we see the last case, 1 into 1 into 1, all the inputs are 1, that's why the output become 1 here. It means that if all the inputs are true or 1, then only the output become true in AND case. See, in this output, only this case is 1 because all the inputs are 1. If you see the simple truth table for two variables, only on this case the output become 1, otherwise here it is 0. Usually they will ask in AND gate the symbol as well as truth table. In symbol also for two variables they may want to ask as well as for three variable also they may want to ask. In the same way truth table for two variable, truth table for three variable in the exam you will going to get. The next one OR gate. 
the name itself suggesting or this or this whereas in the previous case and this and this everything has to be satisfied whereas in or if any one of the input is true output become true here minimum here it takes two input signal maximum if you want you can take three four how much you want you can take but minimum itself you will get two inputs this is a symbol and here if any one of the input is true output become true here in or gate two or more input signals but while producing output only one output will get if any one of the input signal is one then the output become one here if any one consider in this case we had two inputs if any one of the input is true output become true here while this is a symbol to represent the or gate usually in the exam they will ask write the symbol for or gate and gate as well as not gate see here minimum two inputs while writing the output f equals x plus y if it is three variable then one two three three variables for example here i am take x y z then what is the output here see reverse the c shape here to write for or then connect these two then write on the output here while representing this x plus y plus z this is the pattern see x plus y plus z like this here to represent the or gate output and this is a symbol for two variable and this is a symbol for three variables while writing the truth table see two variables means totally four combinations we will get four means two zeros and two one zero one zero one now we will see the output zero plus zero 0 plus 0 here all the inputs are 0 that's why output is also 0 here see the second case 0 plus 1 we have 0 plus 1 means one input is 1 here or the name itself suggesting this or this and the idu athava idu yavudadru one input true agidre output true anta helti whereas in this case only one input true that's why output become true here or 1 See the third case, 1 plus 0 here we have, that's why output become 1 here. See the last case, 1 plus 1. Usually in decimal format, 1 plus 1 we used to write as 2. Whereas it's a binary addition, is it? No, here compulsory you have to represent all the values in the format of zeros and 1s. Because computer can understand only the binary languages that is 0 and 1s. Here 1 plus 1 generally in decimal it become 2 whereas here it in binary all the inputs are true that's why output become true here 1 here. Now is it clear? This is a symbol for 2 variable. This is a true table for 2 variable and this is a symbol for 3 variables while writing the true table. See totally 3 variables means how many combinations? Totally 8 combinations will get. 8 means half of that 4 become 0, 4 become 1 I have to write. See, 4 zeros, then 4 1. Next, 2 zeros, 2 1, 2 zeros, 2 1. 0 1, 0 1, 0 1, 0 1. Now, we will see the output, how to write. In the first case, all the inputs are 0. That's why output is also 0 here. See, the second case, 0 plus 0 plus 1. One time we have 1, that's why output become 1. If any one of the input is true, output become true here. That's why. Then 0 plus 1 plus 0 here we have 1 time 1 that's why output become 1 here. Next 0 plus 1 plus 1 2 times here we have minimum 1 time if we get 1 then output become 1 here. That's why here also the output become 1. Here 1 plus 0 plus 0 the output one time we get that's why 1. In the same way 1 0 1 we have that's why once again here 1 0 1 means output is 1. Here also 2 times 1 that's why 1. Here also 3 times 1, that's why also here also 1. It means that in OR gate, if any one of the input is true, output become true here. In AND gate, all the inputs has to be satisfied, then only output become 1. Whereas in OR gate, if any one of the input is true, output become true. Now you come to know, what do you mean by OR gate? OR gate means two or more input signal it takes while producing only one output. Here, if any one of the input is true, output become true. And this is a symbol for two variable. This is a symbol for three variable. And this is a true table for two variable. And this is a true table for three variable. Whereas in basic gates, I told you three types. AND gate, OR gate, as well as NOT gate. Now, already you come to know, what do you mean by AND gate as well as OR gate? Next, you will come to know regarding the NOT gate. The NOT gate, the name itself 
tell you it's just a reverse it's just a reverse of your input gate if one is the input then zero become the output if zero is the input one is the output like it's just a reverse of your operation in AND gate is also called it as inverter gate because it just opposite of your input gate in the exam they will go to ask what do you mean by NOT gate or write the another name for NOT gate. In NOT gate the maximum itself it will take only one input signal. Maximum itself one input signal and only one output signal. Whereas in previous case I told you OR gate as well as AND gate there minimum itself we required two inputs whereas here maximum itself only one input. See NOT gate has only one input signal and only one output signal. It is just opposite of your input state. If 0 is the input then output is 1. If 1 is the input 0 is the output. It is just opposite of your input case. NOT gate is also called as inverter gate because the output is not same as your input. It is just opposite of your input operation. See, this is a symbol to represent the NOT gate. While representing already I told you, maximum itself only one input. Then here you have to write one triangle at the end one circle then you have to connect. If A is the input, then how to represent see only one input try to write in triangle shape here then at the end one circle and then one line then if a is the input a bar become the output whereas this is a symbol to represent not gate and if you want to write the truth table here i told you f a is the input a bar is out if x is the input then what is the output x bar here if it is 1 0 then output become 1 if it is 1, then here we want to get 0. It is just opposite of your input operation. It is just reverse of your input operation. Whereas on this class, you come to know what do you mean by gate? Which are the basic gates? Which are the derived gates? Under basic gates, you come to know what do you mean by AND gate? OR gate as well as NOT gate. How to write the symbol as well as truth table for AND gate, OR gate as well as NOT gate? as well as for two variable as well as for three variable. In the next class, you will come to know which are the derived gates, how to write the derived gates, what do you mean by derived gates, as well as how to represent that, that is NAND gate, NOR gate, exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate, all those things next class you will come to know. Thank you for all of you.